Hey everybody, I'm Joy from The Joy Pilates. Happy to work with Found Pilates Magazine again, teaming up for a mat class, this time using the ring. So all you need is a ring or a magic circle and you will be ready for this class. Go ahead and grab it and join me on the mat. We'll start standing up, grab your ring, come to an externally rotated position with the legs, slight bend in the elbows, and we're gonna take a nice squat with an exhale, stand up, squeeze those glutes in. So you're gonna exhale, squat, inhale, stand up tall, squeeze the buns together tight. Exhale, dip, inhale up, and again, down and up. Pretend that your spine is just rubbing against that wall behind you, so you don't want to be bending forward too far or bending back. But nice, tall, stacked spine. Let's do three more dips. Exhale down. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, sink. On this last one, lower down halfway. We're going to take some pulses with the ring and the body. So squeeze the buns. You're going to isolate all those muscles. Pulse it out. We got five, four, three. Keep those elbows bent. Two and one. Go ahead and come on up. Take an inhale. Let's go again. Only something a little different this time. You're going to squat, hold it, take a twist to the left. Come back to center. Inhale and take a twist to the right. I want you to think that your spine is twisting, but your hips, your pelvis, your legs are locked in. Each time you twist, add a little press on that ring. It just intensifies everything so much more. <sighs> Inhale through center. Exhale. Get all that air out. Send it all out. <sighs> One more each way. And to the right already super warm i know you're feeling that warmth just coming through the whole body finally we'll do our last version of standing with heels up now as a modifier you can take one heel up take a squat stand back up other heel lift or thinking about those releve toes if you want to go both at the same time a little tougher a little more balance on the ankle but rise up heels up squeeze pull everything in that powerhouse in lower down squeeze the ring rise up tall feeling that balance challenge and down up down up really good for those knees strong core we're getting it now <laughs> it's a little tough at first there <laughs> but we got it, we're gonna do our pulses. So lower down, heels still up, and pulse everything you got. Four, five, four, three, two, last one. Big congrats. Now we've got our warm up done. Let's go ahead and hit the ring. Roll it on back. Outside cushions of the ring go right under the knees and hit an externally rotated position with your feet. Arms down flat at your side. Exhale, push the hips up as you squeeze the ring in. Open the ring, lower your spine down nice and flat. We're gonna do from some flat back bridges. So push up pelvis, core, a little bit of the chest in a nice line. Lower down, inhale. Don't forget to press that ring in. That's the whole point. We have that ring today for that added Deeper practice sensations, added challenge, new ideas of how to move our body with such a light, it's such a portable thing. You can throw it in a suitcase and take it on your trips. If you're just doing mat work, right? Adding this makes so much more of a difference. Love that ring. Now, probably half of you call it the ring and half of you call it the magic circle. I think I'm team ring. <laughs> All right, on this last one, push the hips up. I want you to start squeezing that ring while the hips are elevated. This is probably the next level of challenge, take a level two challenge. Keep the hips elevated. If you need a modifier, bring the thumbs or fists under your hips right there. You got this. Keep squeezing in, working those inner thighs, feeling the shaky quakey. 
Now let's try another option while we're lifted in this bridge. Hold about halfway in on the ring so that little bit of tension and take a little pelvic tuck or a little pelvic curl. You're actually tilting the pelvis backwards slightly, tucking that tailbone under forward and up. Tuck, tuck. Let's go for four. For four, we got it. Three, almost there. Two, and one. Now you hold that bridge nice and high. Roll the spine down. Articulate one bone at a time till the tailbone finds that soft ending. And press both feet up into the inside gripper. Toes preferred for this next stretch. So when you have the toes on the gripper, when you pull in, it allows you to push your heels up to the ceiling and then you stretch even greater on the back sides of the legs, working that hamstring stretch. So keep the legs as straight as you can. You have a tug in towards the tummy and then push the heels up to the ceiling. You're gonna feel it intensify times 10, right, when you push those heels up. I even sometimes take a slight press of the knees away from the chest so that the legs can be even straighter. Nice work. Now seated on the mat, let's warm up the spine and mobilize it with some roll downs. Holding that ring in front, sit up tall as if you were like a Barbie doll sitting on a shelf, how your spine would look. Now tuck the tailbone down, press slightly onto the ring to give you a little bit of stability and you roll back, arms come just above the chest. Here's where you're gonna inhale. Exhale, push onto the ring and curl up, rolling towards the toes, scoop slightly and stack that spine up again. Inhale at the top, exhale, starts down here. The, the curl starts at the tailbone, roll, scoop. One, two, three, four, all the way down. Inhale the breath, contract the abdominals, chin rolls, scoop towards the toes, and row that spine nice and tall. We'll do one more. Inhale, tuck, scoop, control, all the way down above the chest. Inhale down here too. Exhale. Squeeze those muscles in in that tummy. Growing tall. From there, scooch forward a couple inches and we'll scoop slightly halfway back, right? So your chest was up tall, your spine stacked. Now I want you to tuck, scoop, and roll backwards a few inches. You've got the ring right at your chest and we're going to go right into that Russian twist. This is one of my all-time favorite so you only have five minutes to do a little bit of a movement maybe at the office at home Russian twist is my go-to for core work if you have that ring I want you to twist press exhale so those are your three three items you want to do all together is a twist a press and an exhale that breath so much deeper into the abdominals when you focus the breath you're not only just <sighs> twisting but you're going to your deepest level of abdominals <sighs> and that's where the change happens <sighs> so getting some shoulder work here let me tell you <laughs> one more and rest take a stretch towards those toes come into your mat on a high kneeling position take your ring Place it down on the floor, perpendicular. Your arm pressing, you want to keep that nice and straight. Your other arm reach up and over, kind of like side bend mermaid. Little version of this. Actually, I love this because it makes you really squeeze your, your rear and your core to balance you, but also gives you the benefit of that nice stretch opening. We're going to open up each side of the core. Side bend, giving you that lateral work spine healthy and your obliques working don't forget to keep squeezing the glutes your secondary core right keep squeezing those glutes let's do some pulses you're gonna come down halfway keeping this arm straight pulse it down you really got to squeeze 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 everything you got to not fall I love that balance component here for three two one very good counter stretch it out it's all worth it for that counter stretch side step over here we go other side straight arm press down side bend mermaid and up 
side bends are some of my clients absolute favorite work to do after a really long day because you get the benefit of stretching and strength all at once <laughs> one more let's keep it low and pulse squeezing those obliques in on the side stretching the side little pulses or squeezing the buttons so you don't fall three two one Ready for more core? Same here. Grab your ring above your chest. Knees up into tabletop. Curl the ring up and over to one side as the knees go to the opposite side. Exhale. Inhale. Open it up. Woo! Exhale. Close. This open version of that hollow body, you can hear through my voice how we're shaking. That's where the work really is. I love this crunch. But my favorite work is this quakey, quakey belly here. Using our obliques, lifting the chest if you can, a little modify would be neck down. All is attainable. Heat up that core and press onto the ring. It gives your arms a little bit more stability as well. Something to press on. We're gonna go right into straddles. Ring through the middle, legs to the side, or peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo. Inhale back, exhale through, push on that ring. Get ready for some pulses in three. In two, we got it. This last one, ring through the center. Surprise, let's pulse it out with that core. Up and through, push on the ring. Give it a press. You got this all the way through for four, three, two more pulses. Last one, knees down, head down. Take a quick breather. Doing so many great things for your body. Ring is gonna come right in between your calves. Do a little bit of a straddle, legs up, and you're able to give that ring a squeeze. You wanna keep your back nice and flat here. Neutral spine, arms down on the floor. We're going into leg lowers and lifts, added with the ring for that extra fun. Start by keeping the legs piked up and give a couple practice presses. Feel free to change up where the ring is if you need that. Now the challenge, you're gonna lower that ring, lower the legs, but control through the, the pelvis. Your abdominals are helping you so much here. And then you bring them back up. Give it a press each time you bring it up and give it a press each inch you lower. Working those inner thighs and your breath work here is really important. Each time you press in, exhale. Now if you feel your lower back change as your legs go lower, that might just be a little too far for you. There's no reason you need to bring your legs all the way to the floor. And last one there, grab that ring. Let's go right into a single leg stretch here. Extend one leg along to the floor or bend it if you need to. Other leg, remember we talked about keeping them straight with toes on the inside cushion. We're gonna go three directions. We're gonna give a straight leg pull towards the chest. Hold it for a few seconds and then slowly waterfall the leg outside of the body in a little external rotation. Point those toes. Slowly up and then the IT band stretch. So keep it above the hip, slowly over, keep it straight. Make sure your hips don't come with you. Still keep them anchored down to the ground. So you get the ultimate stretch on the side here. All right, other side, let's switch. Toes onto the gripper. Straight leg, pull down parallel. Oh man, anybody else have tight hamstrings out there? <laughs> Good, slowly over to the side. I'm gonna need to scoot out a little bit here. There we go. The wall creeping up on me. Stretch. And then back to center to, before we hit that IT band. Always find your 90 degree bend from the hip and then slowly over. Last few final breaths. Let's roll it up. Great right, work today on this mat class all about the ring. Again, I'm Joy from the Joy of Pilates. 
so happy to join Rebecca from Found Pilates Magazine in this special mat class today. We hope you've enjoyed the next issue of Found Pilates Magazine, a special holiday issue. And again, we want to wish you a warm and lovely, happy holiday season. And see you guys on Instagram at Found Pilates Magazine and at The Joy of Pilates. Bye.